Well, Gary Mule Deer has enjoyed a six-decade career as both a great stand-up comic and a musician, recently inducted into the Grand Old Opry. A documentary about him is now streaming. It's called Show Business Is My Life, But I Can't Prove It. Here to try to prove it to us, would you please welcome a very popular act at the Grand Ole Opry and here at this theater, Gary Mule Deer. Thank you. Just out walking around the parking lot. It's windy out there. <laughs> the taste. Uh A couple of months ago, there was a knock at the door. I answered it. It was two Jehovah's Witnesses. I invited them in. We sat down on the couch. I said, well, what do you want to talk about? They said, we don't know. We've never made it this far before. <laughs> Let it out, folks. Doesn't get any better. <laughs> there we go. My grandpa used to say, listen, if we all like the same things, everybody would be after your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> grandpa used to say some weird things. One time I said, Grandpa, what's the quickest way to get to the lake? He said, you're walking or driving? I said, I'm driving. He said, that's the quickest. <laughs> I made fun of Grandpa. Actually, he was pretty successful. He was a veterinarian and a taxidermist. I remember the sign said, no matter what happens, you'll get your dog back. <laughs> there we go. Grandpa really hated Grandma's cooking. He said it got so bad there for a while, all the flies chipped in and got the screen door fixed. <laughs> you guys are all right. Want to go to Denny's later? I took Grandpa to Denny's one time. The coffee was cold. The eggs were runny. Hash browns were soggy. The toast was burned. As we were leaving, Grandpa turned to the cashier and he said, my compliments to the photographer. <laughs> you know, I think I have politics all figured out. Tell me what you think. My son was flunking out of college. I said, I'm going to choose a woman for you to marry. He said, no. I said, she's Bill Gates' daughter. He said, OK. <laughs> I called Bill Gates. I want your daughter to marry my son. He said, no. I said, he's the CEO of World Bank. He said, OK. <laughs> I called the president of World Bank. So why don't you make my son the CEO? He said, no. I said, he's Bill Gates' son-in-law. He said, OK. <laughs> <laughs> so this lady's coming out of heart surgery. She sees God standing at the foot of the bed. She said, am I going to die? God said, no, you have 30 more years. She feels so good, she stays in the hospital. She gets liposuction, gets her breasts enhanced, her neck pulled up an eyebrow lift, her nose fixed, and collagen in her lips. As she's walking out of the hospital, she gets hit by an ambulance. <laughs> Two days later, she's standing in heaven. She runs into God. She said, I thought I had 30 more years. God said, I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> I'm one year older than Bugs Bunny and four years younger than Porky Pig, so I can tell a few senior jokes. That's, uh, Harriet and Harvey were married for 65 years. They fought every day of their lives. Harriet passes away. She's standing at the gates of heaven. St. Peter said, Harriet, nice to see you. Only one thing you have to do before you come in. She said, what's that? He said, you have to spell the word. She said, what is it? He said, love. She says, L-O-V-E. He says, come on in, Harriet. Harriet steps through the gates. St. Peter said, Harriet, I've been standing here all the day. I really need to go to the restroom. Will you watch the gates? She said, I just got here. She didn't know what to do. St. Peter walks away. Harriet turns around, and there's Harvey. She said, Harvey, what are you doing here? Harvey said, Harriet had felt so bad after the services today, just went home and laid down and died. She said, well, Harvey, only one thing you have to do before you come in. He said, what's that? She said, you have to spell a word. He said, what is it? She said, Czechoslovakia. <laughs> so this, this old lady calls 911. The sheriff shows up. He says, what's wrong? She said, my neighbor next door, the curtains are wide open. He's been running back and forth for an hour and a half naked, not a stitch on. Sheriff looks out the window and says, I don't see anything. She says, no, no, you have to climb up on the dresser and look in the skylight. 
Guy walks into a surgery center, and the receptionist says, what do you got? He said, shingles. She said, sit over there and fill out this form. This lady will come and get you. Nurse takes him in the room and says, what do you got? He said, shingles. She said, OK, take off all your clothes except for your underwear. I'll start up an electric cardiogram for you and do some blood work. Doctor will be right in to see you. Doctor comes in and says, what's the problem? Guy says, shingles. The doctor said, where? Guy said, out in the truck. Where do you want to put them? <laughs> you like those guys? Band is really liking these over here, OK? Yeah. So this old guy's getting his physical, and he's getting dressed. The doctor pulls the wife to the side and says, I'll tell you what, the only way he's going to have a chance every morning fix him a nice, healthy breakfast, make sure that in the evening he has a nice, nutritious dinner, also make sure that he has no household chores whatsoever, and from now on, make sure the house is spotless and germ-free. As they're walking out of the place, the guy turns to his wife and said, what did the doctor say? And she said, you're going to die. <laughs> you guys want to see me on my own television show this coming fall on CBS, Friday nights at 8.30, write him a letter. <laughs> I don't know how much time I've got up here, how much time I have left. Wrap it up. This is my favorite joke. Lady walks by a pair, she walks by a, excuse me, let's try that again. Lady walks by a, a pet store, sees a gorgeous parrot. She goes in and says, how much for that parrot? Guy says, $20. She said, $20? What's wrong with it? He says, nothing wrong with it. She said, well, he's got to be all that plumey. She said, I'll have to warn you, it was raised in a brothel. She said, OK, for $20, I'll take my chances. Takes the parrot home, hangs it in the front room, goes in to fill the water dish, comes back out. The parrot goes, ooh, pretty lady, pretty lady. Her daughters walk in. The parrot goes, ooh, pretty girls, pretty girls. About that time, her husband walks in. The parrot says, hey, Kevin. You guys have been great. Thank you. I went a little over. <laughs> Wait, don't go away. Uh -oh. Come on over, Gary. I want you to tell us about the documentary that's coming up with uh -oh. you. I got a documentary. It's called Show Business is My Life, but I can't prove it. And it's showing now on Amazon, and it's going to be exclusively on DVD at the, at the Opera <laughs> Shop for November, December. It's got everybody from Steve Martin, and it's got also Jay Leno. It's got... Wow. Conan O'Brien, it's got Alice Cooper, it's got Vincent Amy Grant. It's, why aren't you on it? I don't know, but <laughs> let me tell you something. I, I want to see it right okay, now. Yeah. You've just named some of the greatest names in entertainment today. Show business of my life, but I can't prove it. Look for it on Amazon. That's where it is. That's what I'll be doing. All right. If you want to see more of Gary Mule Deer, including his movie, or book him for your event, if you visit Huckabee.tv, we'll get you connected. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video. And there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.